and I really feel that I'm, I'm closer to us than, than two years ago, than one year ago, than half a year ago. Every day I feel closer to us, that one day I feel that I'm really us. And I'm a bit like ashamed of myself why I'm at them now. But no, it's, uh, there's, a lot of, like, there's always a lot of problems and a lot of, of, of things that makes you feel them. But I think it also happens for, for, for Germans it's, uh, itself. If you, if you have a problem with bureaucracy or if you have a problem with, with something that you cannot solve, you also would feel them, you know? And we are living in the most mixed culture city in the world, so there is no us and them. There is only Berlinians. If we're talking about the government and people, I think it's always us and them. Like, all of you are with me, guys. <laughs> like, even if you, are, if you have so much privilege, you're still with me, guys. No matter what your background, you don't have to be more than one thing at the same time. You're just yourself. So it's maybe not about moving towards the us or the them or opening it up, but more like, yeah, just completely um, getting rid of them. It's a bit of a weird time to say that I'm proud to be American, but I, I am proud to be, um, in a way, I, I am proud to be American, or rather I'm proud of the parts of, of who I am that originated in the first 22 years of my life that I spent there. And even though I've been here for the last 10 years, um, I feel like those are the things that enrich my contribution to the city today. So uh, since I got married, a lot of people have asked me if I'm going to get German citizenship, which I guess is easier after you get married. And I'm in the privileged position of being able to maybe choose or one day being able to choose. Um, but I don't really think I will. Some people have a hard time understanding that you could be more than one thing. And I think sometimes that's in our own heads as well, that it might be hard to entertain different things and still be ourselves. To be honest, after all the things that got said, the main thing I want to say now is I feel pretty overwhelmed. My head is pretty, pretty blurry, just noticing how unbelievably complex uh, that topic is. And uh, one thought that I just had is that I just think uh, identity is something so volatile and dynamic. All these things have been and are being constructed um, to fulfill certain interests. In the end, identity is just something that it really always depends on the perspective, on the situation that you're in. So, yeah, it's for me, for example, it would be impossible to say what is German. That's why I didn't say anything earlier. It's really impossible. It's just for me, it would be a big mass of funny stereotypes. Just Oktoberfest, beer, and uh, lederhosen, or whatever. Populism tries to actually underline this kind of, there's a us and there's a them, and it's easy to describe who is what. And I think what is interesting that we are constructing or co-constructing reality. It's something that I learned recently, and I thought that's really a nice expression to say that we are co-constructing by having this connection and saying like that we are connected and we are doing something together. We are also able to create something new. And I, and I think it's just a way of opposing the populism of us and them, but creating the we. The onus is probably more on the, let's say, on the ones who identi identified as us for the purpose of the discussion we had. But if I had to pick one, I would say interaction, like interact, 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 meet, discuss, fight, confront. And, and I don't think that always goes well, necessarily. Mixing can be pretty explosive. It, it's not necessarily always, you know, happy flowers, but I know for sure, or at least I'm pretty convinced that separation is always the worst option.